Hey, it's Buck. Have you been at a match and watched a top pro shooter make positional shooting look really easy? On today's episode of Precision Rifle Network, we're going to cover the advancements in shooting bags, shooting plates, and positional shooting. Stay tuned for some pro tips. The shooting gear that we use today has come a long, long way in just the last two or three years. I reached out to three or four friends of mine in industry and asked them each to send me a sample of some goods that the top shooters in industry are using. We're gonna show you those pieces of gear today and we're gonna show you how the top shooters are using them so effectively and how they're able to shoot positional stages and make it look really, really easy. So on the table here today, we have bags from three different companies. In no way is this video an endorsement of their product as the one to use. This is a sampling of gear that some of the top shooters in the industry are using. We have the Game Changer by Armageddon. We have a mini waxed fortune cookie from Webad. We have a larger fortune cookie from Webad. We have the Tricorn from Cole Tactical. We have a D-bag bag from Cole Tactical and a flat bag. We also have plates from Dave Preston at Gray Ops. Here is his amp plate. Here is his mini amp plate. And here is the Area 419 plate that is incorporated with the D-bag. Now this plate it gives you the ability to mount a bag to the plate and every one of these manufacturers at some is either now making one or will make one that will give you the ability to mount it onto the plate and I'm about to tell you why. When you're using these newer style bags there's two schools of thought in how you employ both of them. One, do you, you run the bag separately. You put it on a barricade or an obstacle, the plate is mounted to your rifle, and then you put the plate with the rifle on top of the bag and settle in and build a good position? Or do you combine the plate and the bag mounted on your rifle and build a position? And then every time you pick up the rifle, the bag and the plate come with it. For this demonstration, I'm gonna use both the fortune cookie and the game changer in a simulated stage. You'll see some shooters often use two bags and position them in different locations. So here we have the Gray Ops mini amp plate with two different bags. They're not connected. So on the sound of the horn, we're gonna start, beep. You're gonna put your bag on here. You're gonna build your position. Bang, bang. You're gonna pick up your rifle. You're gonna pick up your bag. And you may set this in a different position. You're going to move to another bag. Here we have the game changer. It's already pre-positioned and we're going to shoot a position. Bang, bang. Now the benefit to running a stage this way is that I like the flexibility to be able to put my bag on a barricade where I want it and how I want it. Sometimes I'll run the pocket down Sometimes I'll turn the bag sideways. That's up to me on how I think the bag can best be utilized to shoot that position. Your second option is to run the bag attached to the plate. As here we have the D-bag from Cole Tactical along with the Area 419 plate. So the bag is attached to the plate, the plate's attached to the rifle. This is extremely useful if you're if you are comfortable shooting this way, or where I would prefer this, is if I'm using a rear tripod as a rear support. Then I have one less thing to move around with. So at the start of the beep, you build your position, you bring in your tripod, you build a solid position, bang, bang. Now, when I pick up my rifle, my bag comes with it. It's one less piece of gear to move. Bring my tripod over, bang, bang. So by attaching the plate to the bag and then attaching both of those to the rifle, 
you have one less piece of equipment to run. However, you don't have the option to manipulate the bag as much on the barricade as you do when you're running the bag separately. So in conclusion, there are a tremendous amount of bag options on the industry today. There are many more than, than what we've even shown today. Do not limit your choices to just these. Go to a match, look online, find a, a pro shooter that you respect and see what he runs. Ask him for advice. So pick out the style of shooting that you like and run it.